Hello and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. Today I want to give you an introduction and kind of a getting started tutorial on how to use Text Expander. Now, Text Expander is a tool I've been using for a number of years now, and basically what it does, for those of you who haven't heard out of it, is Text Expander is a text expansion tool. So what I mean is you can program in any text you want, things like email templates are a really good example to start with. So let's say you have an email template and you have an abbreviation or a snippet that you can type on your keyboard in different applications that will then have Text Expander fill out that template anywhere you like. So basically what this tool is doing is it's allowing you to program in text, lots of text that you quickly fill out. Uh, so use cases, how can you use this? Like I said, email templates are great. Whatever your line of work, Whatever you do, like there's probably emails that you kind of send again and again and again. So programming in email templates is a very way to a very good way to get started with Text Expander. I also use Text Text Expander for things like links. You know, we all have like different links that we need to send people on a regular basis. So I have a bunch of affiliate links in here. I've got links, uh, Calendly links, where people can book calls with me. I've got links to um, different parts of my website, YouTube playlists, uh, any of these kind of links that you often have to send people, rather than you know going to the web finding the right page, copying it, actually using Text Expander will save you a ton of time. So links are great. Uh, shorthand, just little phrases. Like when I'm writing emails, um, I have little phrases like this. Please let me know if there's anything you need. There's lots of little things that I like to say just when writing emails. And so having little phrases like this programmed in means even if I have to write an email manually, I can actually speed that up a lot by using these little shorthand expressions like let me know if there's anything else you need, um, anything in the meantime, uh, thanks for your patience, all these little things you might say. I've even got corrections in here. Uh, for some reason with the word doesn't, I always type it wrong. I put the apostrophe in the wrong place. I put the apostrophe between the S and the T. So I actually have Text Expander fix that for me. For some reason the keyboard, my Mac doesn't pick this up, but Text Expander I can tell. And, and with the word from the, my fingers just go too fast and I type it from T and then he. So I always do that wrong. So I actually have Text Expander fix those kind of corrections for me. And then even I use it with my task management tool, like Asana. So things like uh, blog posts. When I have a task and I create a task for a new blog post, I can actually use Text Expander to quickly create a number of subtasks so that I can quickly set up the steps that I need to do. So those are a few examples. Let me actually show you how you would set up a new snippet. So let's, uh, let's set up a new email template. So I'm going to just go to my, these are just my folders here. These are just ways of categorizing everything so you don't have one long list. So I'm going to go to my email folder. I'm going to create a new snippet. Now, first thing we can do, actually, first thing I'm going to do is write the subject of my email. So let's just say, I don't know, let's just say welcome. And now I'm going to leave a space where I might want to put the person's name. So I'm actually going to use a fill in here. And I'm going to say, uh, have a single line fill in. And I'm just going to call this field name. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, have Text Expander emulate the tab key on my keyboard so it can tab to the body of the email. So let's uh, use the tab key here and I'm going to tab and I'm actually just going to copy that five times. I think it's five times. We'll test it in a minute. Then what I'm going to do is say hi and now I'm going to put the person's name again. So I'm actually might just uh, copy this or let's just do it again. So let's go hi, fill in, single line, name. And because I've got the same name in here, it says name here and name there. Whatever I type in there, it will actually copy. And now I'm going to write my email. So this is my welcome email. Thanks. Okay, so that's my email ready to go. I'm just going to give this a label. The label is really just used to highlight what this is about. So let's just say welcome email. And then down here we set the abbreviation. So this is the actual snippet or the trigger that you use to uh, trigger this email snippet to be used. Now you can see with all of my snippets here, I've actually used a semicolon at the start of all of these snippets because I don't want to accidentally trigger my um, my snippet. So if I, like with this one, it has the word Anna. Uh, I don't want to um, accidentally trigger that when I write the word Anna, so I have a semicolon. So let's just say semicolon welcome test. Oh, that's already taken. Let's say email well, email welcome. No, that's taken. Let's let's use a different code. Let's do colon welcome. Okay. 
So now if I go to my email, let's start a new email. And now if I put my cursor in the subject line, I can then go colon welcome and let's, uh, ooh, it's popped up on my other window. It brings up this little pop-up box where I can fill in the name now. So let's say John and you can see it's copied the John to the next field here. I'm going to click OK and you can see text expander typed the subject and because I told it to emulate the tab key it actually tabbed one, two, three, four, five times to the body of the email before it continued the rest of its snippet and then it's pasted the rest of my email. So that's a very simple example. I could actually take this a step further as well. So you can include things like optional sections. So this is an op uh, oh, let's uh, actually let's just leave that blank. I can say here this is an optional section. So when I program this in, if I go back to my email and do it again, welcome and now oh, bring that over here. Now. I have this little uh, checkbox that I can use to turn this on and off. So this is really useful if you have sentences or phrases, paragraphs in your email that you maybe don't want to include necessarily all the time. So I have it checked by default and now I can click OK and it's included that specific sentence. So using the optional, optional selection is a great way of including like conditional content. Some other things you can do, you've got pop-up menus. So for example, maybe you instead of an optional section, you can actually have a menu where you can toggle between two or three different sentences if you need to. And like I said, it can emulate keystrokes. So you've got the tab key, the return key. So as, as you saw, I was able to mimic the tab key. So I, I could actually have Text Expander fill out things like the subject and then tab to the body and fill that out for me. Text Expander can also do some really cool things like it can find the day and the month, to, which, which is really useful for naming things like files, if you have receipts and things. So here's a, here's a file in my, um, my downloads here. If I want to rename this, I could use the abbreviation uh, semicolon date, and you can actually see it's now spat out today's date, which is 2018, the year, September 09 and the 6th. So OutFunnel, excuse me, <laughs> Text Expander can even recognize dates and, and use those dates in your snippets as well. So that's a very simple example with uh, uh, an email template. Let me show you a couple more here. So let's do the Asana example. Let's show you what that looks like. So with the blog subtasks, I literally just have each subtask on a new line because that's kind of how it works in Asana. So if I come over here, here's a blog post idea. I can then start a subtask. And because with Asana anyway, if you go onto a new line or if you hit return on your keyboard, it goes onto a new line. I can actually type blog sub and now it spits out all of my subtasks for me. So this is a great way when I have a new idea I can I can write it in Asana and I have all of the subtasks, all of the things I need to do ready to go. So it speeds up task management for me as well. I've also used um, Text Expander for, like I said, links. So I've got things like Calendly pool. So I can send someone this link and oh, it's going a bit slow, but there it is. It's, it's generated the link for me. Uh, if I need to send someone my booking link, or I can even send someone my website link. So I can say semicolon website, and there's the link to my website. So Text Expander is one of those tools when you just start using it a little bit. I generally recommend people get started with a few email templates because that's one of the simple examples. But once you start using it for a couple of things, it's amazing you'll find use cases for it all over the place. And you basically want to think anytime I have to go and find information that I want to copy, whether it's a link or emails, you can actually program that all into Text Expander, which will save you a ton of time when it comes to typing. And actually, if I look at my statistics here, you can see uh, it's some quite cool things here. So in the last month, I've done, uh, you know, 44 different snippets, um, minutes saved last, uh, you know, in the last few weeks, like, I didn't, can't quite interpret this. I think we're looking at I don't know, a few hours worth of time here. Um, I actually got an email the other day from Text Expander that said I'd saved something like five hours last month just on typing because I'm using Text Expander to speed up my typing. So there you are. That is a little introduction to Text Expander. This is probably one of my favorite productivity tools. I've been using it for a few years. It really has made me so much more efficient. Uh, so definitely give it a check out. Highly recommend it. If you have any questions about Text Expander, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.